Hello second graders and welcome to the second part of our math lesson for today. So again our lesson is 8.5 which is problem solving, add and subtract in inches. And our essential question is how can drawing a diagram help when solving problems about length? So the first part again if you remember from any of our other problem solving lessons from other uh, chapters um, you remember that there's a couple things that we need to ask ourselves before um, we actually solve for the problem so um, I'm gonna use this problem as an example and we're just gonna kind of discuss some of the things that you need to ask yourself first before actually trying to solve the problem so this problem says there is a paper clip chain that is 16 inches long and removes nine inches of paper clips from the chain. How long is the paper chain now? So in this case, what would we need to find out? Well, we would need to find out exactly how long the paper clip chain is. That's what we're looking for, right? What information do we need to use? In this case, the information that we would need to use is that the chain is, in this case, 16 inches long and nine inches of the paper clips, uh, nine inches of the paper clips were removed from the chain, right? So how could we show how to solve this problem? So we can definitely use a number line, right? And so in this case, we know that the chain was originally 16 inches long, so it went all the way up here to the number line. But then again, nine inches of paper clips were removed from the chain. So we actually now have to go backwards by nine from 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we land on seven. So now we know that the paper clip chain is seven inches long. Okay? So this is how this is a good uh, diagram. I do I do like this one. However, as we do the problems on here today, I'm going to show you one that I think is a little bit more easier uh, to kind of understand, and it's really going to, I think help a lot easier. So um, so I'll show you that when we get to those problems. And in fact, we're going to do one of those problems right now. So it says Eli has a cube train that is 24 inches long. He removes nine inches of cubes from the train. How long is Eli's cube train now? So what I like to do in my diagram is I like to start with a little dot on the um, on like the first piece of information. So we know that Eli has a cube train that is 24 inches long. So the original length of the cube train was 24 inches. So I'm going to put a little dot just like how I did there on 24 of the number line. Now it says he removes 9 inches of cubes from the train. So what I like to do is I like to take my pencil or pen or marker or whatever you're using and I like to use it to go to each number on the number line until I have gone back in this case nine times so I'm gonna start on 24 and I'm going to go like this one two three four five six seven eight nine and then when I get to my number once I've gotten to nine inches and I land on um, a number I'm going to circle that number because that's going to be my answer so that's another way that you can do um, a diagram on a number line. I think it's a little bit easier than the other way, um, but whatever way works for you is best. So now I'm going to write out a number sentence. So in this case, the original length of the cube train was 24 inches, right? So it was 24 inches long, but then Eli removed nine inches of cubes from the train. So he basically took off nine inches of his cube train. So my number sentence would look something like this, 24 minus 9 equals some number. And I'm going to use a box to kind of uh, serve as like the blank for right now, okay? And so once we have our number sentence and then we use our number sentence to draw our diagram, we realize that if Eli had 24 inches um, if, if Eli's uh, cube train was 24 inches long and he removed 9 inches of cubes from that train, we can now s say and know that Eli's cube train is now 15 inches long. Okay? 
So do you see how I kind of used a number line and a math um, expression or um, equation to kind of solve for how long his cube train is now once it was 24 inches and it took away 9 inches? So you can use both of those things to really help you solve the answer in a word problem like that. So let's take a look at a few more examples. So it says, draw a diagram, write a number sentence using a box for the missing number, and then solve. So it says, Lee has a paper strip chain that is 25 inches long. He unhooks 13 inches from the chain. How long is Lee's paper strip chain now? So remember, I'm actually going to write my, equ my equation first, because I think that's going to help me a little bit better. So I know that his um, original paper strip chain was 25 inches long. So I'm going to write that down. And then it says he unhooks 13 inches from the chain, which means he's taking it away. If you're unhooking it, you're taking it away. If he were to add more hooks to his train, that would be adding. So I know that this is showing subtraction. So he unhooks 13 inches from the chain. So now my sentence is 25 minus 3, and we're still not exactly sure what the answer to this is yet. So I'm going to put a box here to kind of serve as like my almost like that's what we're looking for kind of thing okay so now I have my number sentence now I have a little dot on my number line so now I'm gonna use my number line to make a diagram to find my answer of how long Lee's paper strip chain is okay so we start with 25 and we're gonna go back on the number line 13 times so one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to circle the one that I stopped on. And so now I can say with confidence that Lee's paper strip chain is 12 inches long now. Boom. Okay. All right, let's take a look at one more problem. So we're going to be doing the same thing here. Draw a diagram, write a number sentence using a box for the missing number, and then solve. So Sue has two ribbons that have the same length. She has 18 inches of ribbon in all. How long is each ribbon? So remember, we kind of did this one uh, in the first video but we'll do it again just to kind of be clear about it and how we can go about doing this right so we know that she has 18 inches of ribbon in all so I'm actually going to um, put another little circle and I'm gonna fill it in as red so that we can see it better and I'm gonna put it right on the 18 because that's like how far we're going that's how long the uh, two uh, ribbons are together okay so she has 18 inches of ribbon in all now she has two ribbons that are the same length so remember this is kind of like a doubles fact right this is almost like a, a, a doubles fact so um, we know that um, to get 18 using the same two numbers we can use 9 and 9 right so let's say that for example one of the ribbons was um, blue all right, so let's see if this works out. So we're going to start, I'm going to start, this time I'm going to start on zero because we're going to be adding two ribbons together. So I'm going to start on zero and I'm just going to go from zero to nine on the number line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and so let's say that the other ribbon is green. Now, what I need to do is I need to make sure I'm going to start on the number 9, and I'm going to go all the way to 18, and I'm going to make sure that I count 9 spaces as well, because the green ribbon has to have the same number as the blue ribbon. So I'm going to start on 9, I'm going to go all the way to 18, and I'm going to see if I count to 9 by doing so. So ready? So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I know, based on my diagram, that nine 
inches of blue ribbon and nine inches of green ribbon is equal to 18. So my number sentence would look something like this, nine plus nine equals, and we, we just found it out now, but we weren't really, we didn't find it out uh, when we started. So our number sentence would look kind of like this. And now that we know, based on our diagram, we know that nine um, inches, or I'm sorry, each ribbon is now nine inches long. Because remember, they had to be the same length. So in order for that to happen, we had to find um, one number plus itself that equals 18. So nine plus nine equals 18. So therefore, each ribbon is nine inches long, okay? So our last problem says, Mr. Owen has a board that is 17 inches long. Then he cuts eight inches off the board. How long is the board now? So this one kind of gives you the diagram already to use, right? So he has a board that is 17 inches long. So he goes from zero all the way to 17. That's how long his board is. But then he cuts eight inches off the board. So now on the number line, we have to go backwards eight spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so we landed on the number nine. So now we know how long the board is. And the board is now nine inches long. Okay. All right. So hopefully this, uh, this video was a little bit more help to you. And uh, hopefully now you kind of understand how you can use a number line or a, maybe another diagram to help you solve um, word problems that deal with length. So I think you guys are ready to go on to Think Central now and complete the assignment for 8.5. And um, good luck. And hope, again, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If not, come on to office hours today from 10 to 11 o'clock and you can ask me or Mrs. Zilla for some help and we will be happy to help you um, get your math homework done uh, correctly. Okay everybody, good luck and uh, great job today. Thanks.